Hey there, my name is Allie. I'm part of Loom's customer education team, and I'm here to walk you through some of the features and functionalities of Loom's desktop app. So when you open your app, you'll see at the top here that you have a few different capture options. The first is screen plus camera, which is what I'm doing right now. You can see my screen here, as well as my picture in the bottom corner. You can also do screen only if you want to only record your screen, or camera only if you want to only record your face. So if you do screen plus camera or screen only, there are a few other recording options. You can do full screen, and if you have multiple monitors set up, you'll have the option to choose which monitor you record from. Or you can record a specific window and select the app you want to record, or a specific custom size and select an area. You can also change the camera and microphone you're recording from if you have multiple set up. And you can also change the resolution that you record with. Um, and we'll auto-select that based on your internet and your camera's recording quality, or you can switch that to an HD recording option or a lower resolution. If you go into Preferences up here, you'll see that you can play around with some settings. So you can toggle on and off things like Use System Audio or Highlight Mouse Clicks. You can also change your keyboard shortcuts here. Up here, you can also check for updates to make sure that you are using the most recent version of Loom. And then you can start recording. So you'll see that you'll be prompted with a countdown to let you know when the recording is beginning. And now I'm recording. Once you've started recording, if you're ready to stop, you can hit the stop button. If you want to quickly restart and have the countdown begin again, you can use the restart button. Or if you need a moment to kind of gather your thoughts, but you don't want to lose what you've recorded before, you can use the pause button and then resume recording when you're ready. If you decide that you just want to scrap what you've been recording, you can use the cancel button as well. Loom Pro users also have this handy drawing tool if there are specific things on the page that they want to highlight. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.